Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft single player vanilla 1.14.4 Minecraft series. How's everybody doing? Man, I can't say it like that anymore. Alright, next time I'll just say welcome back to another episode. But how you guys doing today? Man, we're back doing some awesome uh, Minecrafting. And today, you know what? I got an upgrade on these shaders. If you notice, the water behind me. Let, let me just take a moment of silence. Let's just look at it. You see that? Look how nice that looks. Isn't that amazing? It, it, like the, the, the colors also changed a little bit. If you notice down there, you see that? Like a little bit of the, the light is going through the water. You see right there. You see right behind my head right there, like the, the seagrass. Isn't that amazing? That's the new cylinders. It's the new updated cylinder shaders. It's so amazing. I'm going to put a link in the description. It just got released like a couple days ago. And the water is like the main focus of the change. And it looks so good. I just had to show you guys at the start. Look at that. Maybe it did a little cinematic at the beginning. But oh man, so good, so good. But today, we're back, we're back. We're, we did an awesome awesome little uh asian inspired japanese tavern slash inn and you guys mm -mm, you guys outdid yourself in the likes and i love your face and also we got so many good ideas for names for that tavern inn slash thingy but i picked a good one i'm gonna show you right now and you know what let's, let's stop talking let's flip i also been doing a little of cami cam work let me show you <laughs> so but first off i just want to come down here and say hi to my friends over here i have not said hi to them in about a day or two and i have to come back every once in a while and you know what we haven't done in a while did a breed job um you know emochi and haru they don't they don't want to breed i know these two right here these are the the they're they're, they're best friends poe and and oreo have been in love for, for for generations okay and you know what you two should make a bobby no the, um I guess that meant yes. Oh, we got another baby. Oh, it's so amazing. Oh, here. Get a baby, eat a little song. I don't want you to grow up too fast. Here you go, Oreo. <laughs> That's so cool. We got a new baby. Okay, I don't want to put too many babies in here because I don't want this place to get super packed, okay? Uh, because if not, we're going to have to expand this panda habitat, and I don't think we want to because it's too perfect. But one more baby would do. Somebody quick in the comment section, put hashtag panda baby and name that cute little baby. And you know what? Uh, Sashimi, you're doing great. I love your face. Uh, Sashimi is the security guard of this area. <laughs> but come with me. That's so awesome. We made a baby. Uh, but come with me. I've been doing some off cami cam work. If you notice, actually, it's funny because in the thumbnail for the last episode, there were some new additions in there that you probably didn't see in the actual build. It's something I did after to add a little more life. But you know what? Let me show you right over here. Check this out. So we added this cool little front area here. It's almost like, I don't know, like a, it's, not, it's not really a park or anything. It's almost just, just some vegetation, some foliage, just to bring a little life to this area. Because remember, if you, if you saw the last episode, which you should have, because it was amazing. If you didn't check the uh, the last one before this one, this area was just, it was just grass. It was just grass. There was nothing to it. That was it. It was just grass. So we added a little bit of a wall around here. And then we also added a little bit of bush, some grass some tall grass some ferns some a little bit of lilac right there some rocks on the ground some bamboo and that just does so much to it doesn't that do, do so much so man oh and then this <laughs> so i asked you guys what i should do on the next episode and our good friend right here boop norris norris was like we should build a fountain in front of this inn. A nice little fountain right in front of this inn is a perfect spot. So I already have it pretty much pre-planned. Uh, and we're going to build this today. So that's going to be a great idea. Thank you, Nora, so much. And you know what else? My friend right here. Boop. Sith Slayer. My Sith Slayer friend. Stickman Studios says, you know what? Build a park. And today, this is what we're going to do. From you guys giving me amazing suggestions. We're going to do this lovely fountain. And we're going to do a park. And we're going to do it right here. And I think it's, it's a little park. We're going to do eventually a huge park. But I think this is a perfect little starter park. And we're going to go ahead and do that today. So we're going to do stuff to bring more life into an area. It doesn't always have to be a big giant build. Like this. Or this. Or this. Or this guy. <laughs> in order to make a place just feel more alive. You know, sometimes it's the little things. So I'm going to show you guys today how I would build a park. How I would, I would terraform this little area to look really, really cool. We're going to add a little water features. Little benches. We're going to do a tree. We're going to add a little bit more uh, and we're going to do a little fountain. So today, a little bit of a smaller scale episode, but every once in a while, it's cool to do something like that. And plus, you guys have been asking for a little terraforming tips. Uh, so we're going to do some park action right here. But before we even get to that, Bubbles, how's business? Business going good? Anybody in here yet? No, it's too early for drinking. Okay, actually, not really. It's already... It's half past noon. It's already lunchtime. People should come in here and have some dumplings or something. We should do a dumpling cart. Right, Bubbles? Okay, but before we even get to the dumpling cart, that'll be awesome, right? Maybe a little dumpling cart right there on the side. Oh, man, inspiration. I just made that up, Bubbles. You're a great girl. You just inspired me, man. All right, but really quick, 
right here. The name of our tavern and our inn is named by Nikola. What's up, Nikola? Nikola's the best. But right here, it is called Yoko Yasumi Inn, and that means rest well in. Isn't that amazing? That sounds perfect. That is the, the best name. I love it so much. And I'm going to drink this right now. Bubbles, this is amazing. Oh, man. I'm just going to go run around for like 25 minutes. <laughs> but let's get this build stuff started. Let me get some materials together. I'm going to run around until this uh, runs out. Bubbles' drink had a little bit of caffeine, and it was like a, uh, I don't know what was in there. Oh, but um, it, it, really quick. It, let, let me run around for, for like 35 minutes. I'm lying. When am I going to run around for 35 minutes when I build a brand new? Wait for it. A brand spanking new hot spring back here. Oh, let me show you. So watch this. Ready? We're going to do a big reveal. So I didn't want to do a, a second hot spring. Okay, I'm just looking down. It looks like I'm bowing. Um, I didn't want to do a second hot spring on Cami Cam, right? Because we did one a couple episodes back for the uh, the under uh, the ground. Uh, well, technically, it's inside a mountain. Hot spring. But I wanted just to come over here and give you guys some inspiration. So here we go. This is the outdoor hot spring that I've been telling you about. Let's do a quick bow. And let's look at it. Ready? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, baby. Let's do it. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? I look with the new water. The new water. Oh, so yeah, this is it. What do you guys think? I did uh, a little bit. I used some, some of my own tips and tricks and stuff that I normally do, like in our tips and tricks video. And I went in and I put the loom on the top sideways and it gives this really, really cool texture. It goes so well with the red wall. Compost is on the bottom. We got this little overhanging banner thing right here, which looks so good. At the beginning, when I started doing this, I had this completely open, but by doing this it just adds so much atmosphere this is a very low hot spring so it's really right here just up to here we don't get we don't we know we don't drown or nothing we're like right here we're like booty level uh and we got the little uh the campfires under that and it's looking so good we also you know what i wanted to do i wanted to make almost like those little paper lanterns that are kind of floating on on the water so the way i did this one is super simple just a trap door on on the actual water level not above it so it kind of looks like it's floating on it and then a little uh lantern on top and that looks so good too uh we have a little bit of uh rock action here on the corner making it look still even though it looks kind of man-made it still looks a little natural so we kind of have some rocks here some vines a little bit of tree action uh and it looks so good a little bamboo a little bush oh man and as the sun is going down, it's like the perfect time to get into uh, the little outdoor hot spring. What do you guys think? It's so cool. We have it right there hidden for the people that are using. Oh, man, you got to get a towel, though. Give me a towel. This is... I'm, I'm all wet. Um, so <laughs> we got this spot it's specifically for the people who go uh, to the end. So we kind of have it cornered off, hidden, sealed up in the back here. So you have to go all the way through the end in order to get all the way over here. Unless you want to open a fence gate, but don't tell the people that about that. Uh, but then once you're done, boom, put the towel back and you out. You go back uh, and do your thing. But what do you guys think of the hot spring? Is this cool? I love this so much. This is so relaxing. Oh, I'm just going to chill out here now that the... Um, but whatever, whatever bubble gave me the drink is, is wearing off, so I'm just going to chill out here for a little while. But let's get some materials ready, and let's start on that fountain. All right, let's start on this fountain. So this is what I got as an idea. So we got this little retainer wall here. It's very low, but then over here, we have like a little pool going all the way around. Then we're going to have water kind of like coming down from whatever that, um, the, the idea I got. Uh, it's going to be like a small little, uh, it's going to be tiny. It's going to be tiny, but you're going to see how we're going to set it up. So I'm thinking, let's come with like random blocks. Let's just start right here on this corner. So I'm going to go one. Let's go with a one here. It's going to be mixing a little bit of andesite, a little bit of mossy, a little bit of, um, of brick and stuff like that but keep the mossy to the bottom like this so something like that looks all right a little bit of that cracked uh looking and this side looks really really good too uh and then some smooth right there maybe let's take it up one more let's take another smooth here and this is just randomly scattering blocks so this is the how we're gonna set this up so something like this and some of these are gonna be i think primarily mostly the stone brick but we're gonna be mixing a lot of the different kinds of blocks like this so something like so keeping the mossy low so I think right here at this level looks good. Then next thing that we're gonna do is let's put some stairs. So I'm thinking about just random stairs again. So different textures, so it looks cool. And the thing with texturing is that it's all eyeballing it, make sure it looks cool, but at the same time, just don't overdo a certain thing. But if you're gonna overdo it, 
just go crazy with but like this one this is overdoing it but uh i don't know it really depends on the build but since this is gonna be like an old ancient looking um uh, fountain might as well make it very very broken up like this at least just not one single solitary block so this is what we're going with so something like so and that looks pretty good then on top of these let's put another i'm thinking another full block like this so another full block here let's go with that uh let's keep mixing different blocks together so something like so uh there we go but primarily brick i want it to be as well i want it to be really broken at the bottom and maybe more brick towards the top area like that so it, well, it, we'll see how it looks like at the end <laughs> if anything we can always scale back and change it up so something like so from here then once we get to here i want to do like a little bit of a of a step right here so a little stair here so i want the water to come out from right here and just kind of pour down from there so we'll probably end up probably waterlogging that step to give you that cool little effect look so uh let's see something like so and then one more right about i think right there i think we'll be fine all right here we go so something like this this is what i'm thinking about that's a really cool base i like this a lot this is looking awesome now next up let's come up to the tippy top let's work on how we're going to do this roof so i'm thinking first off we got to do some full blockage here to block some stuff off so i'm just gonna go with stone most of these is going to be covered up anyway so like let's just go all the way down like this let's go all the way down like this all the way down here cover all this up like so okay then let's do some stairs so i'm gonna put maybe a stair here let's start switching this up now to primarily stone so something like that something like this one over here you know what let's put one in the center here as well so let's sneak one in here so we're gonna do it probably hmm, we're gonna do it on all of them that's the thing we'll see i think maybe let's do it on all of these for now so then let's go around like this more stone break going around like so maybe switch that up all right just one of those little mix put a little upset on stair here let's put one right about there let's mix this one upside down and another one right about there then i don't know if i want slabs underneath these maybe we'll see but uh let's, let's get some of these slabs out so i'm gonna definitely have one in this corner without a doubt right there in this corner we're gonna do another little tiny flare out right there in this corner uh and i only got these slabs for now it's fine i'll use these slabs. if anything we'll come back and we'll mix them up as well so let's bring this out and let's bring one more out right about here so we have this look going all the way around like this okay you know what yes let's put some slabs let's put some slabs all underneath this for now i think i got an idea okay so we have it like this now next up i'm gonna start doing some step ups here so what if we just grab our regular stairs i'm gonna go from right here in this corner i think yeah let's do this corner so straight up right here boom upside down uh, stair regular stair stair facing this way one like that and then come back down like so really simple like this maybe i don't know or hmm that looks a little small let me hold on let me move it a, one more back how about right here instead so make it a little bit longer so we get more space to do more stuff in the middle and it'll give you a better slope up and down so something like this as the sun is going down bubbles protect me uh oh messed up there's something like this so that takes it all the way down to there and then if anything, we could do a little trapdoor action. So something like this. Let me check it out. Bubbles, let's look at it. Ooh, I like that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let me repeat that on the other side. But first off, let's go to bed. Bubbles, can I borrow a room? What do you mean it's full? There's no one in here. All right, nailed it. Look at that. So that's mirrored to this side, and it's looking pretty cool. I do need to come up back here and maybe get rid of some of these blocks and replace them with some stone or some... Uh, uh, cobble or something like that but for now it's looking good now right here let's work on this so i'm putting stairs on the inside part right about here i think will look pretty good then what if we go over here and then take this one up to about that level i think that might be pretty cool and then we can get some trap doors and put them right on this edge just to keep that wood feel i think that looks nice so let's do it again so right here stair 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 and then stair stair and a stair i think that looks good bring more trap right here lift those put those down and yeah i think this looks nice let's back up a little oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i like that that is looking really really cool wow okay now what do we do on this side bubbles let's show let's, let's see oh this side looks like it needs uh, some help so you know what i'm gonna do let's flip these stairs facing back so we don't see those little exposed wood pieces and then we can just trap door that whole thing hold on let me go up there real fast there we go something like that that looks pretty cool but now by doing this 
Hmm, this needs something, right? This looks like it's too flat. Oh, I fell down real fast. Uh, this seems too flat now. It doesn't look too bad though, but it looks kind of flat right here, like a straight line. What if we duck this down a little bit, do like a little smiley face or something on it? <laughs> Let me see. Let me see what we can do with that. All right, check this out. I got it. All we're going to do is a slab, another slab, and a slab going down. And that is it. That's all we need to do. And look at that. It's <laughs> so awesome. Only thing, uh, I do have to come here and texture just a little more, maybe change some of these up to maybe stone. But you know what? You guys get it. Isn't that cool? Now, let's work on how we're going to put the water in here now. So I'm thinking simple, very super, super, super simple. I need more mossy. Hold on. Let me go get some more mossy. All right. Let's see what we can do here. So really simple. We're going to go right inside. We're going to lift some of this up. So let's go one, two. Oh, I need to jump up on this. Ugh, there we go. Three. And then, okay, uh, let's see how we can make it look cool. I want to put water here, so let's grab a water. Hold on, I didn't begin to get some water. Uh, let's get some, can I take you without messing you up? Yes, I can. And if we just dump water right here, simple, just water right there. That's simple, but it doesn't do what I want it to do, the effect that I want it to give. So I wanted to make the water come over this. So what if we do, um, let's do a thing. Let's do a thing here. Let's actually lower this one, maybe something like that. Let's bring water up one more on this. So let's take the, actually, let's just take that away. Uh, let me put a fake wall here. Hmm, I blocked myself off. Let's take this out. Let's do, ooh, and I need to do something in here. Should I do something in here? Maybe they'll hang a light or something? That's fine, but for now, hold on. Let's put a, a thing, hmm, hold on. Let's, um, hmm, hold on. <laughs> hold on, let's, uh, I got this. Let's, let's lift this up real fast. There we go. So let's put water on this part. Okay, that looks good. I will come back in here and put a lantern. Do I have a lantern on me? You know what? Let me just do it right now. I don't have a wall, though. I need a wall. That's fine. Let me just put it up here for now. Uh, I'll put a wall later. But for now, let's get in here. Okay, so that does this. And that looks okay, but I wanted to do a more. I wanted to do something else. I wanted to pop out this way. So what if we do a little something like this? Let's take this water again, and let's do something like that, and put the water right here. That water logs it. Mm. No. Um, how about we put the water over here? That looks good, but I don't want it that hot. I want it like literally to come out like that. <gasps> That's a nice little slopage. Okay, how about uh, let's do it again here? Let's go. Let's go right there. So we have that. Okay, and then let's do. Can you just put it right there? No. Um, how did I do it? Like, on the side? Was it up here? Wait, I did it up here. There. And then, I want to get rid of that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. that. Okay, that is so unique. Okay, so let's go. Bam. Then, we're going to do it again. How did we do it? We did this. And then, we unwaterlogged it. And it continued. Oh, that slope. That's so cool. I don't think we could do it any other way than, like, than that. So, let's do this. Let's do it again. Then, let's get rid of it. And it slopes up. Oh, that is perfection. That's exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. That is so cool. So we have this coming out from the middle. We have like there's something going on in there, but you really don't know. Oh, that is cool. We have a little light source. So when it gets dark, you can see stuff. And we don't really need a wasp. Fine, you're not going to see it. But there we go. Also, I have lights in here too. So we can have a little illumination on this thing at nighttime. And you know what? Nighttime's coming. Let's check this out. Let's see what it looks like at night. Yep, it looks pretty good at night too. So I added some lanterns as well because it looked a little dark still, but it looks awesome now with the little lanterns hanging from those little slabs on the top. I added the texture a little bit in there as well. So we just put a little bit of a mixture of regular stone with the stone bricks so you don't have that much breakage on the top. So if you're ever gonna make something look a little run down, I, I suggest go crazy on the bottom edge like this, like we had cobble and mossy and broken pieces like andesite and stuff like that. And then towards the top, it gets less ruined. So I made it just with uh, regular stone and stone brick and it looks so cool. I love it, I love it. One of my favorite fountains of all time. It's looking so cool. And look how nice it just blends in in the background right here. Oh, so cool. All right, you know what? Let's start with the park right now. Um, man down? <laughs> what? Look at this. Um, uh, I guess that's what they were worried about on the last episode. If you notice, we had some villagers just trying to escape and leave. I guess, they, um... We had a zombie go in there and convert. Oh, no. Convert. We kind of looks like Rambo. And look at this guy on the other side. He's like, please help me. 
Help me! <laughs> oh no, let's go across. Let's go see what's happening. Oh, that's my stuff. Come on, I thought I have everything around here pretty lit up. Um, okay, we, we can do a little conversion thing thing later on. <laughs> no. And that's not, oh, there he is. Um, hello, my friend. I'm so sorry. I tried to help you. Um, but I guess, and I see, I didn't try to help you at all. I was just laughing. Yeah, no, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die. Come inside, come inside, come inside, come inside, come inside, come inside, come inside. Let me kill you. You're dead. You're dead. Stop it. I can't believe you messed up with my friend. Okay, they, they're, they were safe. No, no, come. Come over here, over here. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, come up to here. Come up to here. No, don't slap me. Don't slap. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's gonna get in. He's gonna get in. No, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, shh, shh. Um... Wait, how? You saw nothing. All right, so I guess you guys are safe now. You're welcome. Hopefully that wasn't a friend of yours. At least they're safe behind those bars. Oh, rip. Can we get an F in the chat? Or the comment section for whatever Rambo that guy was. He was Rambo, I was Rambo. Rip Rambo. Oh, my inventory's full. Um, hmm. Oh man, this is the least I can do. I feel bad right now. So let's go over here to our little shrine that we built a little while back. Actually, I don't think you've seen, you've seen this unless you saw it in the background. Look at this little baby shrine. Um, just, uh, you know, for a real remembrance sake, we're going to go ahead and do something real nice for our, our long lost uh, Rambo. Um, and I feel bad. I feel real bad. So let's put that right there. And body parts. Just scatter them around like that. Oh man, you will be missed. Can we have a moment of silence? Right now. All right. Now that we uh, we're we're out of that situation, you guys are right up there. I don't know. They're still a little frightened. He's a little shooken up. Look at that. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and decide what we're gonna do for this park. So step number one. Let's decide where we're gonna put a little path in here to get to where we need to go. And what are the points of interest in this in this park? Whatever. You know. Well, we're gonna have a nice little seating area. I might bring like a little book nook like we have been doing over there in the other village on the other side. Uh, that way, uh, we might have a little section for reading, a little seating area. We're gonna have maybe like a little tiny baby water feature maybe somewhere and I want to put a little bonsai like one of these little bonsais that we've been doing like right here like this hello like one of those like a little baby bonsai tree in here as well uh definitely a little bit of bush action and that's it so uh this is like the palette of how, what I'm thinking about doing so a little patch like this but scattered in a larger area right here so step number one where is the path going to take us so best paths are the winding paths so the one I'm going to do is let's do a little bit of path block Coming from right here. So I'm thinking we're gonna wind this out maybe around like so, and then bring it back this way like this. And then along this little winding little path, uh, we can have stuff to look at. So I think if we end up being right here, this could be our little park seating area. This will be like where the path ends. So maybe a little seating area here, maybe like a little, or maybe like a little L. And I'm thinking about doing this with our campfire block, which I have right here. Uh, and then let's get some water. Okay. This is gonna, it's, it's good to do this now because it's going to be a little dangerous because the water is going to splish splash everywhere, but let's try this out. So a little seating area, I think like an L will look cool. Maybe this way. One, two, three, one, two, and then maybe a little bloop right here. And then let's do this fast. So, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, real fast. Hey, I mean, there we go. Do it fast. If not, this thing will go all the way all over the place. So, something like this. Hmm. Actually, I think I might want it one forward. I messed up. That's fine. Let's go. Bum bum bum. And let's do it one forward. I just lost. Wait. Can I silk? Oh, I know. I don't have it. I need a silk touch axe now. That works. Okay. <laughs> silk touch axe will work so much better than this shovel. But for now. This is so powerful. This is the most powerful shovel in the game. All right, there you go. And then once we have this, we can come back here and throw in some trap doors. That'll be the back to this chair. Something like that. That'll look pretty cool. And then maybe add some signs, which I don't have right now. I'll bring some signs in a little bit. And then add some signs in the corners. And that'll look pretty awesome. I actually have to push this back a little bit so we can still have a walking space behind it and on the side of it. So now, that looks really nice there. I like that. So that's step number one, some seating. We'll probably add a little more as we go along. Now, next thing, let's decide what to do and where we're going to put the, uh, the, the tree. So we can actually sneak into a couple of trees in here. And as the sun's going down. But let's make a decision where the trees are going to go. So let's grab our spruce. And we can do some dark oak uh, variations. So the big giant, well, it's not going to be big and giant, but uh, the bonsai. Where are we going to put the bonsai? I think a good spot, if we're looking at sight lines, where do you think the bonsai will look the best? I think we can have it right here. I think that would look pretty cool. So right there. 
and then it'll kind of swing around like that and it kind of like breaks the the line of sight of your uh, of this uh, lovely old panda habitat so then you, you know, draw your eye to look around and see like that you want to see what's around it so one right there will look good and then maybe another one over here will look pretty good um i don't know if i want to do two bonsais or one bonsai one cherry uh, cherry blossom. I think maybe one of each might look pretty good. All right, terraforming time. Now, the way I like doing my groundwork, my path in this kingdom is, is not necessarily the way I do it in every single kingdom, but it's a good way to have it a, a nice, a nice variation. So, step number one. Well, make sure you have your path done correct. And I think this looks pretty good. It's a nice, I like two wides for a small scale like this. Something like that would look pretty good. So, a little two wide path. And then at the end, you know, that's where you're going to stop it, whatever. But uh, as we go along, we want a nice little, little bit of a thickness but not too much now think about this path so if we're going to be walking on a path normally in real life some people like to go right on the path but a lot of people like to maybe tramp a little bit on the sides on the edges so to make it look like the edges have been a little bit trampled you're going to take some away from the edges of wherever you laid that path or so something like this all the way around uh, like so so there you go take some of that away and then what you want to do is um, just put some coarse dirt on those little edges right around here so it kind of looks like this path is kind of like being wasted away people are stepping off to the side and you don't have to do it on every single part but maybe on on most of them but not on every single one you can leave some grass in certain spots but i think something like this will look pretty good then next up uh let's grab a little bit of gravel now gravel i like putting them at the edges of wherever the path uh, leads so and some of them sometimes i would like to add it at the edge of a wall like this because if you can imagine some gravel it's like little broken little pieces of rock right so if you have like say rock here in the main path you would think by the time people walk by the rocks kind of like break off and skip off to the side and will maybe later rest like in the edge of a wall somewhere so then i like putting my gravel bits up against walls like this then also podzo i love podzo so for the podzo i like adding them at the edges of uh, tree branches and tree stumps and places where you're going to see a lot of bush so i'm going to put bushes probably back here as well so i like to put them under the bushes i like to put them under uh by the um by the bark of trees because if you notice podzo is just leaves right it's like broken up leaves that are on the ground so you're going to see uh most of the leaves going to be underneath trees most of them are going to be underneath bushes and then a lot of them are also going to do the same thing gravel does it's going to be pushed up against the corners like that so uh, you're going to see a lot back here so that's the spot and then you're going to still keep grass don't just take away all the grass you know you're going to need that grass especially that bright green that's in this area it's going to look nice so but always keep that in mind so let's go ahead and finish this off so i think something like that looks pretty good all right there you go look how awesome that looks i love this this is so nice so now what we want to do is in order to make this look a little more alive is we got to mess with this front part right underneath here to make it a little bit more live and more lived in i'm gonna grab some bushes but i'm gonna get different bushes than the ones we have on the tree and this one i'm just gonna go with some dark oak maybe lift some back here maybe have some wrap around and maybe put some up against this wall as well then another thing i want to do is get some bone meal it's bone meal some stuff actually not you please let me get me tall grass there we go a little tall grass area right there another little bit of let's see let's put a little more tall grass right there oh it looks so good then let's grab some flowers i got a bunch of different flowers so maybe add a little bit of red in here maybe add a little flower right there uh and then maybe another little red pop right there also tall uh tall flowers look great up against this thing so actually you know what let's get rid of that put a big tall one right there yes and then let's grab another little bit of bone meal and let's go ahead oh perfect a little bit right there and that adds so much just to put some stuff on the base of the tree like that it looks great and then on some of these we're gonna add some lanterns hanging we're gonna grab it right about here it's a perfect spot right there and then maybe another one over here on this side maybe sneaking in right here and we added some lights hanging from that so that's looking really really cool now next up let's work on this little area right here so for this part we want to add some bushes want to add some more life and i think the best way to do it is to mix in some more bushes in here so let's bring in the birch which is one of my personal favorite bushes look what it does right here watch this look at that let's even put some on the wall right there looking so good jersey boy that's jersey boy's a better leaf add-on is all, all it is a little texture pack with bushes to make a little fluff here and it changes uh the birch into beautiful uh so <laughs> birch is for beautiful now i love it so maybe a little bit more over here uh and then let's add again let's go ahead and do some uh let's do a little bit of bush variation so let's do another little bit of the dark oak as well let's maybe add a little bit more going off this direction right there give me that flower i'm gonna need you let's do 
some tall uh, flowers like this, another one maybe sneaking in here, then we can bring in a little bit of vine action too. So this adds so much, especially if you put it on the bush, it looks so good. I'm gonna just gonna put them on the greener bush. If you put it on this one, it looks a little bit too contrasty, so I'm not gonna put it there. Then we're gonna add a little bit more. So let's add some flowers, add a little bit more bone meal. Then we're bringing in our bamboo, okay? You watch. So we're gonna leave it here. We're gonna let it grow, because I don't wanna waste our bone meal um, to lift it up. So let's let that grow. Let's let this one grow here. And usually I like putting the bamboo closer to the back of, of the walls, because then we can let those grow higher. But then every once in a while, I'll pop one a little bit more forward, and then this one could grow a little smaller. So the taller ones in the back, smaller ones in the front, and we'll cap it off with some string, and that'll look pretty good. So we'll let, let that grow. Then let's add a little more flower, a little more white, a little bit more white here. Let's go ahead and do the cherry blossom tree and make this look pretty nice. Oh baby, check this out. So we got this little cherry blossom tree right here and it's looking pretty cool. We added a little bit of the pink concrete, the pink wool, a little bit of the pink stained glass, hanging lights, and that's perfect. The cool thing about hanging the lights like this is that you don't have to put lights on the path and it doesn't take away from the, the nice little uh, bushy bush area, which is really nice. So I like that a lot. So that is looking cool. Added some bushes up against the wall here. Oh, the wall, <laughs> up against the tree. And then also added some of the roses just to break up what's happening over here with a little pink that's going on over here. And then we have a little red on this side and it's so nice. I love it, I love it so much. Then over here, we're gonna have our little section for our book. So I'm gonna put a book here. Let's put a loom sideways here so we can have one like an empty bookshelf like people have been taking these books and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, trap door. So let's do some of this Some of this one. I love this trap door here. So it's gonna mess up this but that's fine So we're gonna let's see let's close this off and then let's open this one like that so it, well it, trust me, it's closed. Uh, so it looks good. And then this one opens up. You can get a book. This one, there's nothing inside. So we have that. And we have that cool little texture on the other side. And then for this one, I think I want to bring in this um, this uh, spruce here. So you don't see that piece. We're going to get rid of you. Uh, and ooh, we're definitely going to have to get rid of this thing. Actually, let's just do, let's just stack this up. There, yeah, something like that. I think so. Maybe another one up top. That looks awesome. And then... Another one here? Nah, I think we're fine. So then this is gonna go up here and it's gonna look lovely. Oh, we're gonna have to put something on top. So I think for this one, we could just pretty much just cap it up like that. A little book nook. You can sit down, grab a book, sit down and relax right here. That's awesome, I love that. Then other little things we can add is the, uh, this. Let's grab that guy. We're gonna put like little rocks on the floor and this is a lovely little technique. You can do something like this, put a stair, put a stair here and then we got a slab right on top and that looks like a little rock kind of like a little boulder a little tiny little thing sticking out of that side that looks really really nice and then we can sneak that around maybe another one right here i think will look pretty good i think maybe one right there yeah that looks awesome and then we can come in here drop one inside there and then drop another one. Oh, i broke that drop another one right there i think that looks really cool and adds so much to this little area all right and we're all done it's looking so good i love this park so much but before we even get into that i want to go ahead and give you guys the uh, comment of the day for the last episode so if you remember last episode i asked you guys what should we do with our world should we continue season two here in our asian kingdom and just finish it off until we're done and once we're done we'll go somewhere else or you want me to mix it in uh, every once in a while we'll go into our uh, our oblivious city which is our medieval city back in our season one world and be add some more stuff and serenity fields or the witch's side or the elf side uh, with this area at the same time and uh, you know what 63 percent said to stay here the, so it was a good amount of people that really wanted me to just bounce around and go to different places so uh, i'll see if i can for those 38 percent i might do some stuff on the other sides uh scattered around but mostly we're going to try to finish this kingdom off and this one was a very good comment right here here we go and one to three right here boop john john was like i say finish the kingdom off first too many unfinished projects stay unfinished in my opinion and if it would be nice to see a fully done area and then go to the others when you're done and that is uh that one really just got to me because we, we've done so many different little mini kingdoms season one 100 episodes if you guys didn't catch those go check those out i had so much fun we had so many different kingdoms and I, at first i did it because i really wanted to have like different places to bounce around so if we lose a little inspiration on one we could go to another one and then we have that to, uh, to fall back on but by doing that we have so many unfinished projects we have so many unfinished kingdoms the only thing we have finished over there in the season one world is our serenity field farming area that's done but then everything else kind of we had it there but we got to go back so 
in order to avoid this area becoming one of those, a statistic of unfinished kingdoms by bouncing around to other places. Why don't we just finish this off? Finish this off, and once we're done, then we could go to other stuff. Because if we don't, we're gonna just do what we did last season. Bounce around, and we're never gonna finish this. So I really wanna see this kingdom finished. Plus, we're inspired, we got so many good ideas, we got so many things we have left to finish off. But to sneak in every once in a while, I might go back and do some little stuff, maybe off Cami Cam things, add little stuff to little areas just to show off, or maybe even what are you guys uh, uh, thinking? How about maybe little live streams from those sides of the kingdoms? And I've been wanting to go back to live streaming so bad so we could do that. So let me know if that's something you guys want to see. Live streaming old kingdom stuff. Let me know. Put hashtag live stream. Let me know. But let me flip. Let me show you the finished product. And guess what? I have a friend here um, who wants to say hello. Boop, 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 boop. Mango. <laughs> What's up, Mango? Mango came over from, uh, he was in front of our house for the longest time. So Mango is here in a nice little uh, area here, a nice little uh, uh, parrot cage, right, that we have on the other side. Oh, we have Carrot on the other side. Now we have Mango on this side. So cool. And I like it that he's so low to the ground, so you kind of say hi on your way down. Hi. What's up, my friend? Uh, but look how cool this area has turned out from nothing to this. I love it. A little bit of path. Also, I added some flower pots to add that to that detail added some ferns also love me a good fern get a book here sit down read hang out throws the trash where the trash needs to go and this came out so good along with our fountain right there oh man so much life right here this little spot right here look at this look at this do a little panoramic look around look how cool just this little area looks complete i want to do something here i don't know yet what but <laughs> look at awesome what do you guys think is this awesome i think it came out pretty cool but thank you everybody so much for watching let me know what you guys want to see next episode and i might go ahead and just do it leave me comments go crazy down below but thank you again you guys are amazing i'll be catching you very very soon on the next one but for now goodbye let me go to the hot spring though okay cool off <laughs>